So we'll leave our little Airbnb, little condo, look how cute. So a golf cart is a must. Hey, here we go. New store. Ready? Yes, let's, let's go. go. South, we have Bimini, we have Bimini Bay. Mm -hmm. That's where we are. This is a tongue twister. See, and that is why you got a dog blanket on the bed. Wow. This place is huge, by the way. I think we have probably went on a little adventure. Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna take a break from being on the water and we're gonna take some time and give you guys some valuable information on when you're coming here. Things like where to stay, where's the grocery store, where do I keep my boat? And most importantly, we are gonna give you a little bit of a Caribbean Oasis house tour. My name is Emily, Amanda's behind the camera. This is Kona and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Stop number one is gonna be the, the grocery, grocery store. store. Okay, so we'll leave our little Airbnb, little condo, look how cute. Kind of like a townhouse. Yes. And we're gonna go to our golf cart. Okay, so a golf cart is a must if you plan on doing um, the Airbnb. Bimini Island the way we are. Yes, and with if an, you Airbnb. an Airbnb. Airbnb, you definitely need to get that golf cart. So here's our golf cart. And it came with a little, a little lock to lock it up at night. Yep. So I gotta unlock the golf cart, and then we will head to the grocery store. What other errands do we have to do today, Emily? Just the grocery store. Just the grocery store? Yeah. Oh, all right. So we're just gonna go to the grocery store. We need to get some fruits and vegetables because, like we said in one of our earlier videos, you cannot cross with fruits and vegetables. You have to buy that here. So we did bring some steaks and some meats, but we need to get our fruits and veggies here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're also gonna get like a case of water and stuff. We didn't bring that. That probably would have been useful to bring ahead of time, but to the grocery store we go. Alrighty, here we go. To the, to the grocery store. store. To the grocery store, we accidentally passed it on accident. We're well, at Kings. We, we didn't accidentally pass it. So we, we just were passed one. One, and we said let's on go the to way. this one because there's like, a couple. Why are we gonna keep going further if we don't have? To? So we're at Kings Grocery Store. We'll go inside, check it out, see what we've got. Hopefully, they have some fresh fruit or bananas. 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 Oh, thank you. But actually, and they had, like, it occurred to me things. though that bananas might be hard to find because bananas don't translate to well trips. It's truly no. Which is why you're not allowed to have bananas on boats, according to old legends. Legends. But so we're gonna go further into Alice, Alice Town, Town, essentially, and maybe find a better. So this was a good store. place so we to got get some like apples. something little. We got apples and oranges, or like if you need some peanut butter, a good place. But yeah, but we're gonna definitely going. not. We couldn't find cases of water. That's that's the issue. We found like gallon jugs. But we want a case but I want, for the boat. I want a case for the boat and stuff. Alrighty, what did we find? So there are quite a few grocery stores along the way. I'd really call them little markets. They're and they're more like um kind of like CVS style grocery CVS, stores. Yeah, I'd agree. Very with that. small. So they all had fruit and produce. Um, bananas were really hard to find. We did find them, but they were like black. So apparently the the ship comes in what days? Thursdays. Thursdays, which is today. So the day to shop for produce is tomorrow Friday so if we really want our bananas we can go look tomorrow and then we got a case of water we wanted so, to get two cases of water but the um, 
credit card machine was down. So we had to use cash. We didn't have enough cash for two cases of water because one case is $20 and I only had third dollars cash on me. So we got <laughs> some, we got a case of water, which is perfect for the boat. What we needed, apples, um, oranges, and we got some potatoes for <laughs> our steak dinner. And we also were able to find an onion and a tomato for some fish tacos later on. No avocados, but I think we had fun. We went on a little adventure. We are also thinking that the Hilton has a little market, which might have some nicer looking bananas and maybe an avocado. I don't know. I'm skeptical, but we did get some food and I'm happy. Now that we are back from the grocery store, let's take a minute and view tour our little Airbnb. Ready? Yes, let's, let's go. go. Hi, Cody. Hello. Hello. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Come on, just show everybody where we're going. Let's go up. Don't fall down the stairs. Let's go up the stairs. Come on, Kona. Show everybody where we're going. Here we are. Let's see. Where do you want to start, Emily? Let's start in the living room. In the living room. All right, so here we have our living room. Um, we brought, that is actually like a waterproof dog blanket to be good guests because we have a, a Kona in our lives. We have a Kona in our lives. So here's the living room. We got a nice big couch. We have a nice TV, which actually has cable. In hindsight, I would have brought an HDMI cord so we could watch the Netflix from our computers because we do have Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi actually streams really well. Right, Emily? Yes. How's the Wi-Fi? The Wi-Fi is wonderful. Wi-Fi is wonderful. Is this locked or unlocked? All right, here's our balcony. Here we go. Two little seats right there. And we have an ocean view right there. So it's really nice. It's pretty hot out right now. And we've got another seat right here. And we are staying, where are we staying, Emily? Uh, Bimini, Bimini Bay. Bay. We're staying in Bimini Bay so we can see we've got a bunch of little like I call them like townhouses, villas, condo style. There's a blue one right there. We're in a big, pretty yellow one. And let's go back inside. So over here, we have our dining area. So this is where we're eating when we want. This place is huge, by the way. Um, it's a two bedroom. We have a washer and dryer, which was a non-negotiable for us because we cannot afford to have fishing gear get fishy, fishy very gross and dirty and stay stinky. Kitchen. And here is our kitchen. So it's fully stocked. We have a obviously microwave oven. We have a coffee maker, a blender that came here. This is Kona's food section. Um, we brought some bread. These are Starbucks pumpkin loaves that we brought with. Got our tomato and our onion. This is our Nespresso maker we actually brought because we prefer Nespresso's over coffee. Oops. So we brought our little Nespresso pods and they kind of got squished. I'll go right over. And we have um, a toaster, some vitamins of course. Guilty pleasure, but vitamin C, vitamin B, kind of stuff like that. Gotta stay healthy. And we have a full fridge, so that's great. We have a, another balcony over here. Let's see if I can open this thing up. So, oops, wrong way. Here's our second balcony, our front yard balcony. So we have like a little table sitting area if we wanted to use it. And this is a really nice view of like what Bimini Bay looks like in my opinion. And our golf cart is over there. And let's head back inside. Let's check out the rooms. The rooms. Okay. So why did we get a two bedroom? Um, you guys are gonna find out. Okay, so this bedroom is just twin beds, but we have a lot of camera gear, like a lot, guys. A lot. So we've got camera box, camera box, camera box, camera bag, drone, drone, tripod. Um, and we just really wanted to have a space to throw our stuff, suitcases. Um, so because the kitchen and the dining area, that's kind of like our workspace and our eating space. And we will be, we have been working there like on our computers. And the last thing we want is our workspace to feel cluttered. So yes. we're here for a good amount of time and we wanted to feel like we could get out of it what we were putting into it. Yes. Right? So this would be the extra bathroom. Extra bathroom, plenty big. It's actually, I think this bathroom, hello, using GoPro today. 
I think this bathroom is bigger than the master bathroom it might be. But let's go ahead and check out the master. So we're gonna make our way around to the master. Here we are. We have another um, dog blanket right there. The gray thing. Kona's bed, TV again. Um, let's see what else. These shades open up, you can have your view, but we're just trying to keep the sun out. This has blackout blinds, thank you fully. See, and that is why we've got a dog blanket on the bed. And we've got the bathroom. So, next bathroom, hello again. And here's our shower area. So, it's kind of nice being an Airbnb. We are definitely say it is 100% worth it. Yes, I think that kind of gives you guys a good feel of where we're staying from the inside. Now I think we should talk about as far as locations. So let's talk about that next. You guys have seen us go to the, the grocery, grocery stores. stores. You've seen our Airbnb. Seen our Airbnb. So now we're just gonna do a quick geography lesson on how the island of Bimini is laid out to help you decide where you might wanna stay if you choose to stay. And then we're gonna go to our slip and show you the boat. So the island of Bimini. It is one island, but it's split in two between the north side and the south side, and you cannot get from the north side to the south side without a boat. So it's definitely something worth mentioning. So if you choose to stay on one side or the other, definitely know that if you want to explore the other side, you've got to have a boat. Or you take the ferry. Or you take the ferry. There's that is ferry. very true. Yes. There is ways to do things without having yes, a boat Yes, yes, you very take good the ferry, point, Amanda. We are staying on North Bimini. So not North to mention, Bimini. we're also on the north side of North Bimini. Yeah, so North Bimini is going to include, from the north side of North Bimini, we've got Bimini Bay, which is where we're staying. It's condos, condos. Townhouse style. Townhouse condos. style, Airbnb. And then there's also the Hilton, which is directly across the street from us. And also that's where we're keeping our boat, is directly behind the Hilton in a little slip. Very safe marina. Very safe marina. It has and a casino. It has a casino at the Hilton. What else at the Hilton? Oh, there's restaurants and anyone on the island has full access to use the Hilton. You just can't use the amenities like the pool and the gym. But because our boat is technically staying at the Hilton, we can use those amenities. Yes, we can. Along with the amenities here. We have a pool here we can use. And then what else is on the North Island? Oh, we have the Bimini Big Game Club, which is a fisherman's resort, which we looked into staying at, but we really wanted that full kitchen. Yes, the Bimini, B Bimini Big Game Club. Wow, that is a tongue twister. Actually, it's super cute. We loved everything about it. But again, for us, having the full house feel in the kitchen was what was a priority. Yes, and also on the North Island is where you're gonna find plenty of grocery stores and markets. Now, depending on what they actually have is a whole nother story. So moving from north towards south, we have Bimini, we have Bimini Bay. Mm -hmm. That's where we are. This is a tongue twister. Then we move down and we have Alice Town and Bailey Town, which is like the two towns where the grocery stores and the markets are. And then as we go further south, there's the Bimini Big Game Club, which is the fisherman's resort, you could say, where Customs is. And I think that sums it up. Now, for the south side, as in South Bimini, there's really not much there. There's Bimini Sands, and that's kind of another, what would you say, man? Airbnb style, yes. condo style place to stay. There and is an a marina airport there, and there is an airport over there. So that's pretty much all you're gonna get on South Bimini. People do choose to stay there, and there's nothing wrong with that, but North Bimini is where you're gonna have the markets and the access to more amenities, the dive I would boat, say. The dive boat, the charters. Is, the charters, all that is gonna be on North Bimini. Something else we did though that depending on if you stay on North Bimini, South Bimini, is get a golf cart no matter what. So we got a golf cart um, and that's been amazing for us. Yes. We used our golf cart to go from Bimini Bay to the boat. The boat, we've used it to go to the market. We use it every day, multiple times a day. It is our mode of transportation. Now we are going to take you guys with us to go see the boat which is behind the Hilton and you guys can see the marina and that whole setup. Back in the golf cart, going to show you where the boat is from the, Hilton. the golf cart across yeah. the street. Say hi, Kona. <laughs> All right, off we go. Off we go. Okay, golf carts parked right there. This is the side of the Hilton. It's actually the casino entrance. 
but it's a good parking lot because over to the left, that's where we're gonna go to our Let's boat. Let's go. Here she is. We are at the Marina of the Hilton. That's where we're keeping our boat. And we're sitting at a floating dock. Very nice dock, you guys can see that. So here we have the floating dock that we're at. And up there, that is the Hilton. Here is the, I guess the channel that we came in right here. There's some houses on the other side um, that have slips, which would be great to stay at, but I'm sure they're rather pricey. And here we are. So here's the boat. We're at the Hilton. Just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick show. Hopefully that gave you guys a good feeling of how the island's laid out. So different sides of the island. Pick and choose what you like. And hopefully this video helps you guys if you ever want to come over here. You're kind of like, I know what I want to do. Know where I want to stay. I got all figured out because the Gale Force Winds helped. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments. We want you to get out there, have fun, and stay safe.